So if I ever said I'm sorry, you'll be fucking, I'll take it back. I'm never missing nothing, cause there's something you fucking like. I got an ounce of power, man, I'm sorry, you're fucking right. It's nice to be your tribe, but now you're nothing like Danny Mac. Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of the Danny Mac Show where I talk about weird, wonderful and crazy things on the internet and I am the Miggity Miggity Mac on the road to ruin. Um, it's some crazy, crazy shit's been brought to my attention about what's going on in Ireland. Apparently there's black gangs going around beating up white people. Do you think this is Black Lives Matter gone a bit too far now, you know? Anyway, let's jump straight into it. It says, the mother of Irish child who was brutally assaulted by African gang in the third story of Ashbourne car park which was left him badly hospital- hospitalised has spoken out about their attack. The African gang numbered up to 40 had recovered, recorded the, com- uh, the completely unprovoked attack and posted it to Snapchat. The assault occurred on Friday the 8th of March 2019. That's not even anything to do with the Black Lives Matters. This was just going on. This is just, they're just going around beating people up. This is nothing to do with Black Lives Matter. In the video, you can hear the Irish chin pleading with the, the attackers to stop their assault, but the gang carry on with one of them thrown into the ground. Paula Larkin, mother of Mark 15, said she was sharing the footage because she wanted the culprits to be caught. They're animals. He's such a good looking boy and now he's been left black and blue, Paula told the star. My son could have been dead. I'm devastated over this. The video, you can see my son pleading for his life. After the assault, which left Mark unconscious, the gang robbed 200. 30 euros from his wallet and took his phone. Bastards. Well, look, although it's a brutal attack, I mean, this was well before Black Lives Matter started. You know, I did, I knew Ireland had gangs, but I didn't think they had racially motivated gangs. I thought it was just more to do with religion than anything else. That's what I thought. Shows how much I know about Ireland. But, I don't know. Um, there's another post here about... Um, Blacks wanting to take trophy white girls and stuff like that. I don't know. That's just rage bait. It's it's just rage bait. You know, people say stupid things on the internet because they think they can get away with it. Hence why I've got this channel. I don't know, man. Like, for ages, I kind of, like, lose my rag every time a black man died or got killed by the police in America. But what I'm starting to notice is, because it's happened to me, I got assaulted by police officers twice, two separate occasions. And there's nothing you, nothing I could do about it. Like, I ended up, every time I complained about them to the Independence Police Complaints Committee, committee I ended up getting an £80 fine. So what's the point in fucking complaining when they're just going to fine you afterwards? So it's basically they were saying to me, fuck you, we don't care what what happened to you, and here's an £80 fine. Cheers, bruv. Cheers, bro. But, you know, anyway, I don't like the way this Black Lives Matter movement is turning into like a racially motivated anti-white thing. I'm not entirely sure what to say. I'm sure a lot of people will mark me racist for like some of the things I've said in this video but I, I really couldn't care less because I know I'm not. Like the first beating I ever got was defending a Sri Lankan happy sharper from my friend who was an Indian guy called Shushi and he was um, trying to throw stones at the window of the shop and I came out and stopped him and I ended up getting a beating. I think I was about eight years old. But um, yeah, so I know I'm not a racist. I've never been a racist but I know when things are fucking retarded and i will speak my mind so anyway yeah let me know what you think about it in the comments guys and if you're from ireland and you know a little bit more about this situation please please leave like more information in the comments because that'd be great much love and keep having a nice day so if i ever said i'm sorry you will fuck it i take it back i'm never missing nothing because there's something you fucking like i got an ounce of power man i'm sorry you fucking